Hey guys, Toast here. Today marks a very special day for me and this channel, as it's officially the one year anniversary of Toast Gaming. While the channel was technically created a few weeks earlier than a year ago today, this marks exactly one year since the first video was released on May 14th, 2016. As I mentioned a couple weeks ago, I want to use this opportunity for you guys to get to know me a little bit better, so I'd asked you to let me know some questions that you'd like to have answered. Before we jump into the questions, I quickly want to take a moment to say a really heartfelt thank you to all of you who frequent the channel, both old and new, who've spent time watching my videos, liking, commenting, and interacting with both me and the other people here. It's truly an honor that you choose to spend your time on my channel, and I hope that I can continue to make content that you enjoy, and continue to improve the quality of my videos for you to watch. Now let's move on to the Q&A. A lot more questions were submitted than I had anticipated, so I'll try to keep this video concise and not go off on too many tangents. The first question is from Modest Pelican Gaming, who asked, what was the first game you ever played, and what is your favorite game of all time? So the first game I ever played was when I was about four years old, and it was the original Mario Brothers game for the Nintendo NES, which, thinking about it, makes me feel really old. As for my favorite game, it's really hard for me to choose just one, but one series that I go back to consistently over and over, and that even after probably thousands of hours I still haven't gotten sick of, is the Borderlands series. In particular, Borderlands 1 and 2. The next question is from Bilbo T. Baggins, who asks, Where are you from? Your bio says New York, but you don't sound like a New Yorker. Well, you're right about two things. My bio does indeed say that I'm from New York, and I'm not originally a New Yorker. I'm originally from Chicago, where I lived until I was 18, and then moved to New York, where I've lived since. For better or worse, I've never picked up a New York accent in all of my time here. Up next is a question from FlintDefault447, who asked, Do you think that Battlefield 1, when worked through its teething problems, will be just as good as Battlefield 4, which is a game that also started out with a heap of problems? Now, in my honest opinion, I'm gonna have to say no to this, and here's why. Battlefield 4's problems stemmed primarily from poor netcode, server issues, and balance issues. When DICE LA started working on these, the game's content was really able to shine through and be appreciated. Battlefield 1's problem is that from a content perspective, it isn't as varied or robust as Battlefield 4 was, and this stems in part from the time period in which Battlefield 1 takes place. There are only so many liberties that DICE can take with a game set in the World War I time period, where modern shooters can have many more options to choose from. I think Battlefield 1 will continue to improve and will be remembered as a solid release, but I don't think it will match or surpass what Battlefield 4 eventually became. The next question is from Nathan Drake, who asked, Are you excited for Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Destiny 2? And do you plan on playing those games? Well, for Star Wars Battlefront 2, I would say that I'm intrigued, but not necessarily excited for it. Star Wars Battlefront, for me at least, was an okay game, but it lacked the depth I wanted from a first-person shooter, and it was severely low on content at launch. DICE has already said that they're working very hard on the content aspect of that, which is great, and I'm at least looking forward to the campaign, but I'd like to see better balance and more depth in the multiplayer system. As for Destiny 2, I'm cautiously optimistic about it for a couple reasons. From certain standpoints, the first game was actually pretty decent. The shooting was tight and enjoyable, and the world that the game took place in was varied and interesting. The biggest problems that Destiny 1 suffered from were the lack of content, laughable story, frustrating loot system, and console-only platform. We already know that Destiny 2 is coming to PC, so that fixes that particular issue, and I know that changes were made to the loot system throughout the game's lifespan, so if they can deliver on the content and the story, then I feel that they may actually make a really good game. That said, I'll likely end up playing both at the very least to decide how I feel about them. Moving on, Clay Sanford asked, What other games do you play in your free time? Well, there's actually quite a few that I play. Most recently, I've been going back to The Division to try out the game after all the DLC has been released. I've been occasionally doing some Ghost Recon Wildlands, Paragon, Shadow Warrior 2, Mass Effect Andromeda, as well as various betas and alphas like Lawbreakers, Mirage, Quake, and others. While the channel is obviously very Battlefield-centric, there's quite a few games that I play and enjoy in general. Up next, Matthew Barsky asked seven questions, so for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and answer the first three. Number one, what do you think of COD World War II? Will it be something we may see on your channel? Now, I used to be a big fan of COD up to Modern Warfare 3, but the series has since lost my interest with the futuristic setting and the current mechanics. Assuming that they really simplify things and make it more like the older games, I'm slightly interested and may do some content on it in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. The second question, do you play Battlefield 1 on console? No, I don't, I currently play on PC. And the third question, what is your favorite weapon, class, map, and game mode? So my favorite class is probably Medic. Weapon is going to have to be the auto-loading 8 Extended. 
Map is definitely Amiens, and game mode I would have to say Conquest. The next question comes from John Smith who asked, will you do a collaboration with Westy or anyone? In all honesty, if you can convince Westy to do a collab with a channel of my size, then by all means please go for it. Most larger channels won't even think twice about a channel my size, so the likelihood of being able to convince any of them to do anything with me is really quite slim. That said, I would be entirely for it, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Up next, Charles Crockett asked, what are your biggest interests in life? What do you do or want to do for careers outside of YouTube? Some of my biggest interests are computers in general. I really love to research hardware, do custom builds and upgrades. Granted, I didn't study IT, but I would say I'm an amateur enthusiast. As for career, I currently work in sales for boutique luxury and lifestyle hotels, an industry that I've been in for the past five years and something that I hope to continue doing. The final question for today is Josh K, who asked, do you have any interest in theater? It's actually really interesting that you asked this because I have a significant background in theater. I started performing in theater when I was seven years old and performed all throughout high school. I ended up moving to New York City to attend school here and graduated with a degree in theater, did some off-Broadway work, but ended up pursuing other careers after that point. So yes, I definitely do have a very strong interest in theater, and my love for performing was one of the reasons that I ended up starting this channel. Well guys, that's going to wrap up today's Q&A. I hope you all enjoyed it and feel that you got to know me a little bit better. My apologies if I didn't get to your specific question, but I'm sure down the line I'll do another Q&A at some point. Thank you again to each and every one of you who comes by the channel, and I can't wait to see what the next year has in store for Toast Gaming. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, this is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.